Happy Monday, and welcome to another episode of Cases That Should Have Gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. Today, we're talking about copyright infringement. Cases that should have gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. The Canadian Standards Association publishes a number of standards, including electrical standards. Every year, the Canadian electrical standards are incorporated by reference into federal statutes dealing with electrical regulation. I don't really know why, but they incorporate those standards by reference into the statute. A company called Knight also publishes a simplified guide to the Canadian Standards Association's Electrical Standards Guide. Unfortunately, after an unsuccessful takeover bid by the CSA, tensions arose between Knight and the CSA, which ultimately resulted in a negative working relationship. The CSA told Knight that any licenses it had previously granted to Knight to use their document were revoked, and they were no longer permitted to publish their guide. Knight responded by threatening to publish the entire Canadian Standards Association guide in its entirety and to make profits off that. Ultimately, the matter proceeded to court for a determination about whether or not the Canadian Standards Association held a copyright over the information on the electrical guide, which raised an important question, ultimately decided by the court in favor of the Canadian Standards Association. What happens when a federal statute incorporates a private document by reference? Does that eliminate the copyright owned by the private entity over the document that is now part of a federal statute? Who owns copyright in material that's contained in statutes? And if there is copyright owned, doesn't it vest in the Crown, which means that it belongs to the public? This is what the Supreme Court of Canada had to determine in this case. Now this case isn't just one of electrical guides, it's also one of, of a broader application because there are hundreds and thousands of statutes across this country that incorporate by reference all sorts of external material. Those statutes all contain references to other documents which ultimately may be in the hands of private entities. And without knowing who owns what, and without a final determination from the top court in this country of where the copyright vests, it makes it very difficult for people to publish information and create guides, as Knight was trying to do, to explain the law to other individuals without delving into the area of potentially violating the law. This is the problem that arose in that case. How do you reconcile the copyright owned by a party from the need for the public to be able to in be informed about and engage with the law? The Supreme Court of Canada had the opportunity to resolve that tension between those two competing interests and make the, the law of copyright a little bit more clear when it comes to things that are incorporated into Crown documents, as well as to make the playing field a little bit more fair when it comes to allowing the public to know what the law says and what the standards are that people are expected to live by. This was an important national issue that the Supreme Court of Canada could have addressed that would have led to better public education and understanding in the long run about the law and in particular about copyright law. The Supreme Court of Canada missed that opportunity and unfortunately that means that it's going to take more threatened copyright litigation in relation to information contained in federal or provincial statutes before we'll actually have an opportunity to know what is owned by the Crown, and what is owned by private entities. You're watching Cases That Should Have Gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Cases That Should Have Gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. I'm Kyla Lee at Acumen Law Corporation. Thank you to Brazen Bull Creative for putting these videos together. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends.